Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Dark Souls 2. We just finished uh, killing the Demon Soul Song person, which was kind of actually mentioned with that staff that we had, which is kind of interesting. Um, also that demon was also the one that was making the song for this er particular area, so that area that we just came from was is going to be a little bit more difficult until we get a song, another person to sing it. That's okay. And in this case, nothing there. There, all right. Let's keep going. There's no enemies around here. This just leads to the next area. There's that, and then there's this route here. Make sure I don't fall to my death. Actually, the easiest way to do it is just follow these little stones here. But whatever. Uh, this should be safe. Magic arrows. Um, actually, I'm gonna go. Actually, no, I don't need to. Let's do it here. Bonfire. So we got that. So we can light that up. around. Yeah, pit's there. Door's there. Definitely getting closer to done. Alright, let's head up the stairs. Pretty sure we can't access what's up here, but I'll check anyway. I believe there's... Is there any place to drop here? Okay. Well, what we can do... Is travel back to... Directly at Castle. Go to the central area. And we can use that key that we got. Hey, another one. <sighs> Ring of the Dead. Don't remember what that does. Keep human appearance even when hollow. Cosmetic item. Alright, um, because I am lazy. I don't want to wait on the elevator ride. Okay, travel. Let's go to here real quick. This area's been cleared out already, so there's no enemies to worry about.
We hear a song in the distance. You rescued a Milfanita, who was taken from us. Take this. We, Milfanito, thank you. You quelled that cursed singing. They may be of no use outside, but please, take these. When we sing, the little, the little, this. When we sing, the this. Oh, okay. So we saved two Milfinados. So she only rewarded us for one. Also, I apparently missed uh, a couple here. I'm too worried about grinding out. It was literally probably one more kill for them. Do do do. Yeah, it's cleared out there. here so I'm checking to see if that other building if she's gonna be in there or not it's possible she won't be but we'll, we'll find out I'm not gonna worry about them I can grind them later Well, the fact I don't hear any singing probably means they aren't there. Surprise! Look at my Titanite, awesome. I'm just going to ignore you. Nope, no one here. Okay. Well, I'm not going to deal with uh, the spawns, so another one of these. I got one more place to check and then we'll continue on. I could go level up, I literally, I believe I only have enough for one. Yeah, one level up. Not worth it. Okay, so we can go here. Oh yeah, I forgot to check that spell we got. Nope, nothing. There's a way to open it, but I don't remember how. Oh, I think you have to be hollow, but I'm not going to kill myself to test that theory. In any case, let's, um... So if we go down here, requires uh, 36 faith, has two, well, it right now has two uses. Uh, Ancient Miracle of the Sun reinforces weapon in, in other hand with sunlight, a form of lightning. A The sun grants life to all things upon the earth, even if the worshippers of sunlight no longer bless the surface with their presence. And wait, I didn't check uses only one slot. Okay. Gravity. Okay, we're good to go. So we're just going to continue onward for now. I'll look up how to get into that place uh, later. So if I recall, the requirements aren't that high. It's, it's not an illusion. Alright, once again. Deeper we go. We are almost to the king.
here we are, Undead Crypt. Actually, get around these. Yeah, might as well, might as well check since I can. Okay. Onwards. These things are filled with oil. I wouldn't touch them. All right. These next few parts are not going to be easy. Because guess what? More casters! And those bolts, uh, don't really, I don't believe they do very much damage, but they drain stamina. So, yeah. Let's see, it doesn't do much damage, but it drains your stamina. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh boy, running away. So these casters are able to cast every type of magic. Pyromancies, miracles, hexes, and sorceries. Ow. They're also kind of resistant to um, lightning, it looks like. That or they just have a lot of hit points, you know, whichever. They also swing their staffs pretty in a cool way, but. Yeah, like that. I wish I could swing those staffs that same way, but you can't. You can't. Magic's down. Um, their staff that they. They carry can be um, dropped, and it essentially works for practically all types of magic, uh, and it's reasonably good. I mean, there's more specialized um, staffs, and chimes are generally better, but for an all-round staff, it's pretty awesome. I use uh, my hex caster just simply because it looks cool. Hold, human, do not produce light. Hi. Uh, these three guys will not aggro until you attack them, and they are actually kind of tough, so be careful of that. Uh, but you can get a free backstab on this guy, which is always fun. It says, torch required ahead. I'm pretty sure that will aggro everybody. I am Agdain, guardian of the crypt. Countless dead rest here in peace, cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me by the one who gave us the first death. Countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now... They're all just dead. Did you come for him? 
the one called Fendrick. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. But they rest here now, put to death by the king's own guards. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. In the past, humans were one with the dark. The former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer you humans. How you go on, never separating truth from fiction. This place is welcome to all, provided due reverence is shown. Death is equitable, accepting. We will all one day be welcomed by her embrace. Tell me what you desire. Show me reverence, and I will lend you my hand. Have mercy, Jester. We can get the Shield of the Insolent, which has increased stamina recovery. Um, you can get the Insolent set. Though I don't care about it. Uh, you can get the Ring of Thorns plus one, which I will get. You can get a whole lot of uh, human effigies if you need them. And here we can get Soul of Peace, which we already have, and Warm. One of the lost power minuses preserved only in the undead crypt creates a gentle warm flame that heals those who touch it. Fire can be sh uh, a show of strength, but it is also a symbol of wisdom and comfort. Fire is what the caster wishes it to be. So it's a healing spell for pyromancy. And it essentially puts a little flame out there, and anyone who stands near it will gradually recover health. You also get access to Soul Spear and Soul Vortex. Both are good arcane spells, I guess. Alright, so uh, we'll go ahead and pick up that. And that should be good. Talk. I am a finito. This task was granted uh -huh. somewhere. Okay. Oh. So that takes care of that. Um a chew. Didn't do it. Again. Prepare powder. Anyway, let's continue. I was not expecting to get hit twice, or three times rather. Next. Let's try not to die, please. See that there's a path down below. We'll go ahead and take it. It's all great hero. Dyed orb, fire seed. And then you can drop right back down here. There go. There's a 
fog door here. But you can also drop down here if you want to. Which is generally advised because if you go down here... Oh, we need a torch. Soul Vessel, always good. Allows me to respec. Not an illusionary wall. Alright. Soul for Hero. And Bonfire. One way ladder, by the way. Okay. So this area has infinitely spawning guys. They can actually technically farm this place. Um, with the help of like a lucky coin and stuff, you can actually farm this place for effigies. Though I wouldn't advise it. Um, also these things. Spawn those guys, which are a pain. You can actually break those tablets though, and they will stay gone if you manage to do so. Though I failed miserably, and I got stuck. So let's try this again. I'll remain hollow for now. Like that. And it's making me try to backstab, even though I don't want to. They don't take very many hits, so they can go through, they can pretty much go through any barriers, and they will keep spawning from there, unless you destroy it. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and test my theory to see if it, if I can get to that one room, now that I'm hollow. open it if you're hollow. Then you see these crawling guys. And I'm not gonna worry about being... Okay, this ain't working. You know it does work though? Sonic Boom! Okay, maybe it's more like a Hadouken. Poison stone. Perfect. Caster up there, we gotta deal with. Shoots from a very far away. Shoots very fast bolts. In fact, it's practically that boss we fought before. Now we're here. Hello. Who are you? And what do you want from us? Milfanito. That is what we are called. My name. Do you mean our name? We know nothing of the outside world. We sing eternally for those who bear death and dark within themselves. We have been here forever. We know nothing of the outside world, and we do not need to. The little ones were born from the great dead one. 
and the great dead one taught us song. We have sung ever since to comfort those bound by death and dark. This is what we were taught. We hear a song in the distance. You rescued a Milfanita who was taken from us. Fire seed. You silence that cursed singing. Please accept these as a thank you. Fine blessing. Do you seek comfort too? You poor thing. Take this at the very least. Thank you. This is all that we can do. The little one, and we have this. Okay. Um, I believe um, if you come back here and you have, if you're hollow and have no more human effigies at all, um, you can get restored to humanity here. Um, not really necessary since there's plenty of ways to get back humanity other ways, you know, by helping other players, but it's there if you don't. But it's there if you ever offline, I guess. Anyway, uh, in here, fire seed. And here we are again. Let's, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop a flame butterfly from here, because I don't want to go all the way back to our torch. Anyway, you can go out this side. Leads nowhere, and I don't know how that has a blood stain. Oh, hello. There it is. Manslayer. I'm gonna finish searching this area and then I'll explain what the manslayer is. It's a fun little weapon. Screw that up. Yes, I did. There we go. Just making sure. Bonfire stick. And that's probably just about everything here. I say, but I'm lying. Probably. Find out. Yeah, it just leads to nothing. Yeah, looks like we're done here. Alright. So let's take a quick look at what we just got. Alright, the Uchi Katana, Black Steels, Black Steels, Manslayer! 11 Strength Requirements, 18 Dexterity, has E and B for their affinities, but has Poison Damage. Katana with a terribly worn blade appears useless, but is in fact coated with deadly poison. This sword was claimed, has claimed countless victims, and the blood stains upon its blade have Turn to poison. So that's the sword I want to mess around with. Um, it's not very useful against bosses, simply because most bosses are immune to poison, but it could be very funny in things like PvP and fighting everything else. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. But first I need to upgrade it. And also, to make it even more silly, I'm going to imbue it. What am I... What am I going to imbue it with? Um, I'll give you a hint. It starts with P and ends with poison. So there we go. There's the door. There are the stairs. Let's get out of here. Also, I'm going to go ahead and use those fire seeds on the uh, dark pyromancy flame just because why not? All right, let's go back to Majula. I should have enough uh, Twinkling Titanite to upgrade the uh, Manslayer. I'm glad. Alright, force pyromancy flame. Bam, 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 bam. I'm always here. Yeah, yeah, you're always here, I know. That's been up. Okay. Oh. 
frame rate's stuttering again. I knew. Hopefully it's okay. Reinforce. Berserker Blade, Advanced Light. Yep, why well, Twinkling Titan Knight just like the uh, Berserker Blade does. So 110 base damage. Or sorry, I am looking at the wrong weapon. Yes, I am. Wait, oh, I can't. It doesn't show here. That's why. I'll be. So we'll do some comparisons in a little bit. So let's go to McDust Workshop. We might actually have some new stuff to sell as well, for what it's worth. I out flame. Nope, nothing new. Okay. Fuse weapon. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Zerker blade. Manslayer. So the damage right now is 172 93, with 93 lightning damage to 230 damage and 100 um, poison. Granted, poison is not instant damage. It's essentially how quickly you can fill up the uh, poison. I think it might affect the dot damage as well. I don't remember. But in any case. We're gonna make this thing even more poisonous. Which is gonna reduce the effectiveness of everything else, but the poison is just gonna make things a lot more hilarious. Now it's a poison manslayer plus five. And I can kit cats, you need to go away. There we go. So there we go. So Oh, let me do math real quick to figure out the numbers here. So that right there is 260, yeah, 263. That is 126. That is 989. This is 297. And then essentially 268 poison. So against bosses, it's actually going to do much about, about uh, a little over 100 damage less against bosses, but the, po the poison, if you count that as just raw damage, it actually out damages my um, lightning black steel katana. So we're going to mess with that for a while. I'm not familiar with the moves of this thing though. Oh yeah, I never opened this door, did I? Now granted, this thing's just gonna kill everything in just about one shot. Well, let's see that moves. Pretty similar moves. Alright, this one does a thrust. And as far as two handed concerned, pretty much the same. And slashes for the uh, heavy strings. Alright, let's see if I can test this. Uh, we'll test it on this guy. I can. Oh, you exploded. Congratulations. Nah, it's, I do too much damage. That's okay. I'll mess around with it in PvP. I'll go to the tower or something. But I'm kind of going over time here, so let's not push the luck of my render any further. I'll level up once and then we'll call it a video. Is that a shark? Here, to see. However... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Here. Take that. Alright, I am the Depressed Dior, and this was Dark Souls 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.